Doubles are not only popular in Trinidad, but they're really popular here in Toronto too. So today I'm headed on over to Radica's Hot and Spicy to eat some doubles and some Trini delicacies as well. And something tells me that about 90% of what I'm about to put in my body is probably going to be fried, but I'm okay with that. At home, I've been trying to perfect doubles for years and years, but I failed miserably every single time. So what's the secret to making perfect doubles? The secret to making my perfect doubles here, I would say the fresh ingredients. First of all, it's very important to have fresh stuff. All of our stuff is imported from Trinidad. Ah. The bandania is a big secret to making a very good doubles, and that's all I can tell you yep. for now. Everything else has to be secretive so that's no one can right. replicate what you do. Exactly. <laughs> now, if you're not necessarily a doubles person, let's say, and they come to your restaurant, What's something else that you'd recommend for them? What's pretty popular here at my location is the bacon shark. The bacon shark is a popular Trini beach lime food. And a lot of people that go away to Carnival and things like that, they learn about bacon shark and doubles. Two very popular Trinidad dishes. So what actually goes into your bacon shark? Uh, with our bacon shark, we start with the cabbage and the lettuce and the cucumbers, the shark, of course, and we deep fry it. And then we put it on the bed of all the ingredients that I just told you. I am not an expert and making doubles. However, I feel like your kitchen might have more supplies than I have at home. Do you think you'll let me hop in of the back? Of course. Maybe try my hand? Yep, for sure. I'll show you and then you can do it on your own. Okay, but you have to promise you won't be disappointed if I'm terrible at it. You'll still love me, right? I'm sure. Nobody's terrible at it. <laughs> All right, so I got the rundown from a pro on how to make the perfect double, so I'm gonna try my hand at it. See if I can pick this up. So, first, dip my hands into oil. Oh my God, this looks so good. Okay, now, time to make the little balls. <laughs> you squeeze the dough until it turns into a little ball. That's one barra. So step two is flattening the barra out. So grab the barra and just lightly press with your fingers to stretch it out. When I saw them doing this earlier, they did it a lot faster than me. <laughs> Probably a hundred times faster, but I'm a beginner. This is beginner level. Step three is frying the barra. So you wanna pick it up, Drop it in, slip, slip, and then it is done. You thought fast food was fast, making doubles is even faster. <laughs>